everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a cute gift card holder for you today. This would be great for Father's Day. Um, it features the Home and Garden Bundle from the 2022 Spring Mini Catalog from Stampin' Up! And let me show you how it opens. It's uh, very pretty simple, I think. It opens like that. It opens like that. Your little gift card goes in here. And... It looks kind of like Home Depot. <laughs> it's a Home Depot gift card. And I kind of use the Home Depot colors. All right, well, let me show you how to make this. We'll make the holder first and then we'll do our stamping. All right, the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock that is four by nine and three fourths. We're gonna score it at two and a fourth, uh, four and three fourths, five, seven, and a half okay that's all there's nothing on the other side just those four marks on the long side now grab your bone folder and we'll put these burnish these lines like this i can get that to bend down the right way there we go like that Okay, so now I have some designer series paper. This is the wood grain designer series paper from the In Good Taste DSP pack. This is how your holder folds, okay? So you go in and then like that. So here on the front is the larger piece of the DSP that you need. You'll find these measurements all over on my blog. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube. All right, we're gonna put that right in the middle. And then we're gonna put one here and one here, like that. There we go. Now this side is gonna open up and that's where we're gonna stamp our message. And I actually have a piece of basic white that I'm gonna adhere right in the middle, okay? And then I'm gonna bring my Simply Scored back over and I'm gonna line that original score line up there and I'm gonna add another score line on that basic white so it will fold over nicely, okay? Like that. Now for the other side, you're gonna to wanna to get a circle punch or a circle die. Any size will work and you just wanna punch like a, a little, basically a thumb hole to grab that gift card. Now I've got my tear and tape. Tear and tape will hold this really well. And it's narrow enough that it's gonna leave you room for your gift card. Okay. I'm almost out of tear and tape. Let's take this off right here. And then we'll grab this piece and put this right here. We're doing adhesive surgery. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to come off. And then we'll take this one. And this part is going to fold down like that. All right. So I have another gift card. Isn't that gift card cute? And it's just going to slide right in there. All right, now before we do anything else, we're gonna take our ribbon and we're gonna tie it around to keep our gift card holder closed. Hopefully I have enough ribbon. We're gonna put a tag here on top of this ribbon to hold it in place. Like that. Almost didn't have enough. Let's get that little piece of tape off of there. And try this again. Well, my ribbon is uneven, but we're just gonna go with it for right now. Okay, now let's do our stamping. Boy, that's gonna bug me, but for, you know what? For the video, Erica, you can let it go. All right, let's, <laughs> let's move that over here and let's do our stamping. We're gonna stamp the ladder first, and we're gonna do that in, I'm gonna do it in Memento. In my original, I used cinnamon uh, cider ink, but I'm gonna do Memento. I like the Memento look better. 
We're gonna stamp the gloves in Memento. We're gonna stamp the trimmers, the hedge trimmers, or the loppers, whichever you like to call it, in Memento. So all three in Memento. Now I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Blends and I'm gonna stick with Cinnamon Cider Light since that's the color I'm gonna just kind of make my theme color here. It's a retiring color, which means at any moment it could sell out. So make sure you have your cardstock, your Stampin' Blends, your ink pad, all the things that match. Cinnamon Cider is probably my favorite in color that's retiring right now. Okay. There we go. We're also going to do our gloves in Cinnamon Cider. I'm going to add some dark here in just a second to add some dimension. But first, I'm going to give them all a little coating of the light. And I'm going to come back with my dark. I'm going to go around this edge here so you can see that there's kind of a shadow and add in a little bit of shadow here, here and here, and maybe around the edge like that. All right, now let's do this part of our loppers, trimmers, what do you call them? We always call them the loppers. I don't think that that's the right word. Now I'm not gonna color the blade part because we're gonna use, we have this really cool die we have this one that will cut this out, but we also have this die that's gonna cut out the blade part and it's gonna make it look like it's metal. So we also have the glove dies and the ladder dies. Now we're gonna stamp the sentiment. We're gonna heat emboss that and then cut it out. So let's go ahead and do that while, uh, before we bring over the cut emboss and then we can get it all done at one time. Grab my white ink it's over here. And to the man who can do anything. Right there in the middle. Well, let's try that again. Looks like I didn't get it all inked up. To the man who can do anything. There we go. Now grab your embossing powder. Sprinkle that on. Knock it off, the extra. And grab your heat tool and watch it turn nice and shiny. All right, we are ready to do all of our cutting. We're gonna cut the sentiment out first using the message die. There is a long and skinny um, right here, this one right here, long and skinny. All right, let's get this on here so that it centers that way. Lay your plate on top. And run it through. There we go. And now we'll get all the other pieces on here. Here are our little blades and our loppers. Our ladder. Now, if yours wiggle around and you're afraid they're going to move, you can use post it tape. But we also, in our new annual catalog in May, have a magnetic plate designed specially for the cut and emboss machine. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Let's get these off and we are ready to put this all together. I have cut out a basic white stitched um, label. These are from the Hippo and Friends dies or the Hippo dies, I believe they're called. We're gonna put on the ladder first with some mini dimensionals just right in the middle like that and then we will take our gloves and kind of put those over here like that 
Let's get two more many dimensionals for our sentiment. Well, I got several many dimensionals. That will work too. The more the better. I'm gonna put that right across the bottom like that. My loppers, we're gonna adhere a little bit of that with some liquid glue onto that. Doesn't that just make it look so cool? Then take, um, we'll need many dimensionals again, right here. And I'm gonna put one right in the middle. And I'm gonna put it like it's kind of cutting, kind of going through there like that. And then last but not least, I have cut out a evening evergreen stitched heart and we're gonna put that right in the middle. All right, whoops, my, my blades aren't dry yet. Should have given them some time to dry. All right, let's bring back over our holder. And what I'm gonna do is take some dimensionals and just sandwich that ribbon like that. That way it'll stay in place. And we'll put our tag right there. So there's the outside, it's finished, but let's add something to the inside. Actually, it's not finished. We gotta add in our little grommets, or what they look like, grommets. All right, so right here, I'm gonna just take, I think I'll do the shovel, and I'm gonna stamp it. Whoa, oh my. <laughs> Stamp it right there. And then we'll take the Happy Father's Day and stamp that right there. All right, so tie your ribbon back together. And I'm just going to tie a knot. Well, maybe I'll do a, rib, a bow. And then you're going to take some of these awesome brushed metallic um, adhesive back dots is the official name. And I'm gonna take and put one in each corner. So it looks maybe like a nail head or a grommet or something like that. And there you have it, a really cute and fun Father's Day gift card holder. Now make sure you hop back to my blog, grab the measurements and the supply list, as well as there will be links to um, three, uh, three or four other projects. I have quite a few using the Home and Garden bundle. It is such a cute, cute bundle. All right, everybody, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.